Hello, I am King Mac, and I like to thank you all for watching this future presentation on YouTube. Be sure to enjoy a hot fresh cheeseburger with some french fries and a nice soft drink. Thank you for watching, and now here is our feature presentation of TT Burger Game Reviews on YouTube. Well, 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 look who's back. It's you. You want some more TT Burger game reviews, I see, eh? Well, look no further because we are at the final part of my Ray series review, episode 173, part 2 of 2. And before I get started here, I want to once again give shout outs to Sub Zero MNX and Free Green HD for King Mac. You guys are awesome and keep up the good work because I look forward to seeing what content you guys have in the future. And we're continuing my, my Ray series review. We're on the final part here. But before we get started here, Hot and fresh off the off the, the, the TT Burger Grill, ready to be served for a Sunday barbecue. It's a TT Burger recap to show you what you missed. I took a look at Ray Storm for the PlayStation, gave it a 9.5 out of 10 because there was some minor nit nitpicks I had with it, like um, the en enemies all being the same, fighting the same enemies all over, and like the special mode was just nothing nothing different, except for the most part, except for like the lighting time of day from the original mode. But Still, it was a great game in, in the series overall, and definitely worth owning your collection if you want if you want to shoot them up on your PlayStation. For the final part here, we're gonna take a look at the, at the sequel to Ray Storm and Ray Force, and this game was released in, on October 25th, 2000, which was like four days after my 12th birthday, and it was once again by Working Design and Titan Corporation, and we got it right here. This is Ray Crisis Series Termination for the PlayStation. Now, Ray Crisis Series Termination is a great game indeed for the Ray series. Nice to see more, more of Ray on the PlayStation. And this game is enjoyable, but however, it feels way too similar to Ray Storm. And I know she was going to be similar to one or like that, but sometimes the next game in the series or so like that is going to add new changes and stuff like that. And while it does add a couple new changes, for the most part it feels very similar, more like an expansion to Ray Storm. But it is an expansion that is fun, but some may be disappointed those who are looking forward to another Ray game, which was as fun as Ray Storm, with, with stuff, but still didn't be a little disappointed. But for me, it's a good, it's a great expansion, but Ray Storm was a, was a little bit better, is what I mean there. The story of Ray Crisis Series Termination is, like I said before, there's not much story. It's like you're shooting the bad guys down, and that's basically what you do there. Just basically a simple story, futuristic story, and it works for a game like this. The presentation of Ray Crisis Series Termination is on par with Ray Storm. Graphics still look great with the environments and explosions and the ship models and more. And it, they, they may look like a little bit better, but you're not really going to notice so much of a difference when you're playing the game. But like, just that you'll notice, notice that, the sh that the ship models look a little bit more detailed. That's basically it, though. And the framing is smooth once again. So, yeah, but let's say about the graphics. Sound, great sound. There's more voice setting in this game, but it's not. A tons of it, but still, the voice, the, the voice acting, the voice acting is fine. I don't have a problem with it. The music kicks ass. Lots of up upbeat techno tracks to keep the groove coming while you play the game, and it's gonna add, it's gonna add to the fun factor of Ray Crisis Series Termination. Getting to the gameplay, we have a fun game, but some minor problems. First, the goods. You have two modes: original mode, special mode. You 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 you, you pick a spacecraft. Choose a stage and go from there, and then you shoot away at the bad guys. Mindless fun, shoot them up, and you shoot away more to get that high score. Ray Crest Series Termination has new weapons to play around with, like you, you can you can have advanced weapons like lock-on lasers, and you have some upgrade missiles, and like your special attack and stuff. And like you have unlimited continues this time too. But, like um, like in the last one you had limited continues. Here you got uh, <laughs> unlimited limited ones. And you shoot away, like eating a cheeseburger and throwing out the out the moldy ones that that take up room in your fridge and smell bad. Just throw them away, and the game will test your skills too, like 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 how Ray Storm was like. It will test your skills as well. 
Like I said in the previous part, I am not good at these games, but I still enjoy them because they're fun to get that high score, and it's always fun, fun to have some minus one shooting up, up, up the bad guys and stuff. And it's always great seeing your score and wanting to improve it. And you can't go wrong with that, can you? It's a great game overall, once again, like, and you, you, you pick from, 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 from seven stages and stuff. You can only pick, play, like, after the first stage, you only pick, like, like three others. But still, they they add variety to them, like, one of them just, minus shoot them up. Second one's just, like, um, just, like, a little bit more harder. Then you got the, the boss fights and stuff like that, which will challenge you on your feet. And you can just, like I said, I suck at, at these games, but still, I am still join them to get a kick out of, out of, like, the fun fact of getting that high score there. It's a great game, but now the bad. A lot of the levels feel very similar to one another with the enemies and stuff and the way the way that they, that they feel when, when going around shooting around them. And you fight the same enemies for the most part over and over. The special mode is basically like a trial mode and it can be a handful of times too, it can get pretty intense. But my main complaint? No two player co-op or any two player modes at all. Raystorm had two player modes, but here there's no two player mode at all. Why'd they get rid of it? I don't know, but Usually shoot em ups can can be or can, can be fun when you we have someone of someone to play against but it's a kind of a rare thing when you don't have two players and stuff in, in games like this. But it's still a great game overall. Raystorm was a little bit better, but still def definitely worth owning your collection once again. Especially especially because how finding it it, 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 it in complete condition with how the disc looks and everything like that with the manual and everything. Yeah, it's it definitely worth owning with those working design games, definitely worth owning and stuff for sure. So final thoughts here, Ray Crisis Series Termination is still a, a fantastic game, just not as, as fantastic as Ray Storm, but still de definitely worth owning your collection for sure. The score I give Ray Crisis Series Termination is an 8.5 out of 10 because of the problems I have with it, but still, both these games are fun, and if you need to find them, they're, they are pricey, but they are worth it, definitely, they're, they're worth it because they're both a lot of fun, and definitely worth owning your collection for sure. And that's pretty much it for my race series review. I know these videos were short, but you said they're shooting up. There's not a lot to talk about with them and stuff I'm trying to say there. And like if you, if you can find these games, be warned you'll be spending a lot of money on them, but they're, they're definitely on your collection for sure. Which all I gotta say is Tony, peace and out, have a good day and see you all in episode 174. What will I cover then? Find out next, which all I gotta say, peace out everyone. And if you like what you see here, subscribe, like the video, comment down below, join my Discord group, TT Pro Gamers United. And join my Facebook group, TT Burry 8 Gamers Group, and my Facebook page, Child TT Burry 8. And just join them if you want updates on the channel, want to meet new people, and make friends and stuff, and just have fun. But all I gotta say is, Tony, peace and out, and see you all in episode 174.